Hello everyone, this is Technomath. I hope you all are doing good. So, Windows is a very weird operating system. All the time it comes with some new, annoying and strange issues. Today, we are going to see one such issue. Have you ever faced a situation where you logged into your user account on your system and you get this pop-up notification saying that you have been signed in with a temporary profile? If yes, then we are going to resolve this issue in this video. On the top of that, if you had any important files or folders saved on your desktop or my documents or in downloads, you can see all those files and folders are vanished. Don't worry guys, they are not actually vanished. They are still there in the system. So follow the instructions in this video very carefully to resolve this issue. The notification further says that you can't access your files and files created in this profile will be deleted when you sign out. To fix this, sign out and try signing in later. Please see the event log for details or contact system administrator. None of the suggestions from the notification is going to work in order to resolve this issue. And if you avoid this and continue working with this temporary profile, then beware. The data you save on the desktop or my document will be deleted once you logged out from this temporary profile. Why? Because it's self-explanatory. It's a temporary profile. So this issue occurs when the user profile of the account is corrupted from the system. In order to resolve this issue, follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, log into the another administrator account if you have created on the system. If not, you can enable the built-in administrator account. You can easily do that by watching this video. So let me log into the administrator account now as I have already enabled the built-in administrator account. Now go to the start menu and type CMD. That's command prompt. Right click on it and click on run as administrator. Type this command net space user. It will give you the list of user accounts created on your system. So currently it's showing me administrator in which I'm currently logged in. There's a guest account and the third one is my user account in which I'm not able to log in or rather it is creating a temporary profile. So type in another command that's WMIC space user account space where space name equals single inverted comma and type in your username. In this case, I will type the user account which we are trying to resolve. In your case, please type as per your username space get SID and hit enter. It will give us the SID for my user account. Just make a note of this SID. This SID or security identifier is unique for each user account. So this SID is the unique identification for my user account. Now go to the registry editor. For that, go to the run command and type REGADIT and hit enter. Now on the left hand side, select HKEY local machine and click on find. Type profile list and hit find next it will search this key through whole registry editor you can expand the following path and find this particular key manually also once you find the profile list key you can see multiple security identifier or sids if you expand it each one associated with different user account security identifier associated with our user account and which I'm not able to log in is ending with 1001. Let's find out if it's present here. Yes, it's there. And you can see the duplicate entry is also there with the extension .bak. You can identify the user account associated with each SIDs by selecting any SID and on the right hand side, find the entry profile image path whose value shows the user account name associated with it. This is the user account administrator in which I am currently logged in. Likewise, if you select the key ending with 1001.bak, you can see the profile associated with it is my real account and the other same key ending with 1001 is associated with profile named temp. So this is the user account which is causing issue. 
each time I'm trying to log in to my real account I'm getting logged into this temp profile and getting the pop-up notification and also I'm not able to see any files on my desktop or my documents so you might be wondering where are files from desktop my documents or download folder for that go to c drive users folder and select your real user account in my case this is the one go into that folder and go to desktop there it is all your files will be there it is the same for my documents and downloads folder now i hope the situation is pretty clear but let me summarize it for you so this is my real user account i'm trying to log in to this user account but due to some fault the security identifier for this account has been changed with the extension .bak and another same security identifier has been created which is associated with user account named temp this one so each time when I try to log into my user account, it fails to recognize the security identifier associated with, with it and then logged into temp account. So in order to resolve this issue, we will first take backup of my user account folder to some other drive or external USB. So just copy this folder to some other drive or external USB drive. I have already done that. This is just a precaution step and now i am going to delete this security identifier associated with temp profile and once i delete it rename the real profile and remove dot bak extension okay sometimes the profile name associated with dot bak account which is your real account also gets changed so in that case what you need to do is after renaming this SID by removing .bak also rename the profile name from here just double click on profile image path and change the value to your real user account I'm not going to do that because in my case it has not been changed now close the registry editor and restart the system log into your user account and you will be able to see files on your desktop now and that pop-up will not appear again i hope you like this video please share it provide your valuable comments in the below comment box and do not forget to press the subscribe button thank you